everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to focus on the main living spaces, um, primarily the living room and the breakfast nook. So I have some staple pieces that I want to show you all and then some other miscellaneous items that I purchased over the last few days, couple of weeks or so. So it's going to be a very short intro because I want to go ahead and just hop right into the video. So this humongous boss is going to be one of the items that's going to be tackled in this video. I'm not sure if I'm doing it today or tomorrow, but it'll definitely be in the same video. Um, but I have to get this thing after four years. I stated in the last video, I um, just came from Ballard Designs. Just to go ahead, spoiler alert, this is something for the breakfast nook. Um, and this box is humongous. I'm still trying to think how my husband and I, how we're going to break this out and put this in the trash can, but we'll, we'll figure it out some kind of way. But so this is going to be one of the items that we tackle in this video and I can um, show you all what that looks like. But something else came from Amazon today. This is out on the front porch. I'm not sure if you all have ever been out on the front porch, but I got this rug. This is a nine by 12 rug. And just, this is like a little glimpse of the front porch. Um, it's pretty big because we have the chairs over here and then we also have chairs over here. Don't mind the tag. <laughs> I got this on clearance at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, one of them. So I still have to put some things in here for um, these pots, these flower pots, the wood, but very pretty wood, like a reddish brown with some different colors. But so those are the flower pots. And then not sure if I ever showed you all we have gas lanterns on our front porch. They are so pretty at night. And this is what the lanterns look like up close. As you can see, they are starting to weather, which is exactly what they're supposed to do. It's supposed to kind of patina um, a little bit. So, well, maybe not a little bit, a lot bit, just based on the elements. So they were like a really copper looking, um metal when we first got them but as you can see they started they're starting to patina and kind of age a little bit so that is to be expected and we like the way that those look and this is gas so this stays on 24 7 365 and so that's what the outside looks like and i definitely have to work on this but the focus for today is going to be this rug and this is a 9 by 12 rug that I purchased from Amazon. I purchased it on maybe like a Thursday or Friday and it came on Tuesday. So today is Tuesday. So I'm going to drag this huge rug in and show you what it looks like. So I've gotten it up closer. Now I am about, I'm about to um, go ahead and cut this. I'm trying to figure out how I need to do this. <laughs> Just in case I need to sit this bag. and gray. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like some booties. Can't be like any other world. Okay, so I'm and of course it is taped. Now I really hope this road works out because 
I do not want to have to send back another rug. And it's not really tape, it's plastic. It's kind of, I guess it was really tight around it. So it's not tape. So here it is. sure if you all realize but I love animal print. Leopard is my absolute fave. <laughs> but I do like animal as well. And I think I'm liking it so far. And I think it's gonna be big enough. So let me finish rolling this out and I'll show you all what it looks like once I, once I am done. This is the rug stretched out. Like I rolled the entire rug down. Of course it is super duper wrinkled. <laughs> so wrinkled, right? So what I did, this is like the nine and then this is 12. And this 12 goes on and on and on. It is very long. I'm gonna see what it looks like this way. I'm gonna move the chairs back so it'll sit on the rug. And I have you know a chair there and a chair here because I needed to roll out this rug. And then I'm probably gonna put the front, I'm gonna move the rug back so the front two legs are sitting on top of the rug. I'm gonna see what that looks like because if not, I may have to turn it this way. Um, so let's see what that looks like. But so far I am digging this rug and I'll give you a little bit more description of the rug uh, once I come back on camera. Guys, I have got the furniture. Oh, there's Kylie, she's saying hello. <laughs> I have got the furniture, me and Kylie, it was a team effort. We got the furniture back on the rug and I am loving the rug. As I stated, this is an antelope rug, like the, the pattern of it. And I saw an antelope rug at Ballard Design, right? And they have a lot of antelope pattern there. I would say a lot, but they have some. They have like rugs, blankets, not blankets, maybe pillows. They may have some throw blankets too. I could be mistaken. Um, so they have quite a few antelope type de decor. When I saw the rug, it definitely stood out and I knew I needed a nine by 12. So I went and priced the antelope rug at Ballard Design. Cause usually their rug prices aren't that expensive compared to their furniture, which is kind of expensive, it's kind of pricey. A nine by 12, when I priced it, was maybe a thousand dollars for a rug. And I was just like, mm -mm. I don't want to spend a thousand dollars. I know this is a high traffic area. The girls are going to be in here a lot. My husband and I, we are going to be in here a lot. And you know, our company. And so I don't want people to feel like, oh, if I spill something on the rug, it's going to mess it up. So not saying that I wanted to go with cheap, but I definitely wanted to go with something that was less expensive, that was going to be kind of low maintenance. This rug is literally flat. It is not a plush rug whatsoever. I probably need to get a rug pad or maybe not. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm gonna take it that far. I mean, it feels, it feels okay, but as I stated, it's not a plush rug, but I do like the way it looks. And I'm gonna, if I haven't already did so, um, I'm gonna insert a, a picture of that Ballard design rug so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And so what I did, I just got on handy dandy Google and put an antelope rug nine by 12 to see what came up. There were like some rugs from West Ham, maybe Overstock, Wayfair came up, but Amazon came up. And when Amazon came up, I said, they must be pricing the five by eight or the eight by 10 rug because it was way cheaper than the rug that I saw at Bella Design. This rug, if I'm not mistaken, was like two, 
60, around 260, 270. I'll put the exact price of what I paid for up so you will see exactly how much it cost, but it was not more than $300. And I think for a nine by 12, which is what I needed, was a really good price. Now granted, as I stated, this is not a plush rug. This rug is very thin, but it'll get the job done. And I just like the colors of it. Like I stated, it is a, a gray, a brown, and a cream. And it has like, like a, it goes like from a light gray, it almost kind of looks like a very bluish, like a light blue, kind of like a bluish gray, but it's gray. Um, but it just depending on the, the lighting, it could have like a blue tint, but so this goes from like this light gray to like a brown to like a dark gray, almost like a taupe. Um, to a brown, then to that taupe color. And it's kind of like a um, ombre effect. And of course it has like the cream or beige spots, the antelope spots throughout, throughout the rug. But I am so satisfied with it. I'm glad that I did not go with say a uh, 10 by 14, cause I did measure it out. And I said the 10 by 14 is gonna be a little bit too big. Um, because with a 10 by 14, I probably would have been able to bring the rug out a little bit further. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna need some rug tape because it may take the wrinkles and the the different crinkles in this rug to relax a little bit. So I may have to get some rug tape to tape down the corners, but I'll see what it looks like over the next couple of days if those things start to kind of fall out naturally by themselves. And you can definitely see what I'm talking about um, on this end, because it's, it's definitely curled up on this end. But all of the furniture, like for the most part, the furniture, the chairs, they sit comfortably on the rug. It's just the sofa here. I put the first, um, or the front legs, or the front feet of the sofa on the rug. I could actually bring the rug back a little bit further so that the rug maybe comes probably about here and I'll still have room on this side. So I may do that, but I'll live with it like this first to see how I like it. But I'm definitely satisfied with this rug. Definitely satisfied with the price of the rug. So you all let me know what you think and I'll link this um, in the description below if you're interested in something like this. So while I'm waiting on some help from my husband, I wanted to show you all just a few things I got for my birthday. And if you know, you know, when it comes to color, I am a color girl. So I want to go with like all these vibrant colors, you know, for flowers. So like fuchsias and corals and oranges and pinks and yellows. Um, so I found these, well actually my mom found these in a store. Yeah, don't, please don't look at my nails. They, I still, I need to make it to the nail salon to get this taken out. This is s and s and I cannot take this off at home by myself. So that's on my to-do list this weekend. But found these, let me lay these out so you can see them. I found these leaves and they are so pretty, aren't they? It's like an ombre. It's like it goes from pink to almost like a coral to an orange. So I have two of these. And I think my mom has three and then she has three other, like a different type of leaf. It kind of looks like a banana leaf, but I'm pretty sure that's not the correct terminology for it. So what I did, I took these vases. Remember these vases that I got from um, H&M that I was not satisfied with because they are so small. But they have come in handy because I have just stuck this inside of the vase. So I like that. And these were maybe 60 something cents each because Michael's was having like a 75% off sale. I need to go this weekend to see if it's 80%. And this was this flower arrangement here. Let me see how much this arrangement was. So this arrangement was $9.99, but since it was 75% off, it was 250. 
So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And my mom was like, hey, put those inside of a cup, like a glass. So I made myself a little centerpiece and then these butterflies, that's actually my girl's bows, like some stuff that goes in their hair. So I thought that was cute. But I'm just kind of trying things out. And then I bought like this, can I, I guess you can call this like a candelabra, a gold one. I got this from Home Goods today. Not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not, but I wanted to bring it home and see what it looks like. But I have these candles, and I bought like orange, fuchsia, yellow, and I bought a coral too. Let me show you all those. So these are the yellow candles, and I think it's ten of them in each box. And orange. This is the coral that I was telling y'all about. Really pretty color like a combination of a pink and an orange. And then these are the pink ones. And these are taller, or longer rather, than the other ones. I think these may be 12 inches compared to 10 inches. And the description says they're supposed to be non-drip candles, but I don't know, based on what I saw on the reviews, people are saying that they definitely do drip. So I'm not sure when it comes to my party if I'm gonna light these candles. Or not because um, I definitely don't want you know to be a fire hazard somebody accidentally bumps the table and then candle falls and something catches on fire you know who wants to deal with that but I don't know I'm just kind of up in the air about it but I do like the candles I do like the way things are going and lastly let me show you these candle um, stick holders like these tender taper a marble taper um, candle holders or what they're called and these were not, I think this is $9.99 and this may have been, yeah, $12.99, it's $12.99. And I really like these and I'm probably gonna use these for my birthday, but these are gonna be just decor in general. So I have some ideas I can do with this and I have two of each. And so I think these look really nice. Let me show you, I'm just gonna put some candles in here so you can get an idea what it, it will look like. So that is really nice. I think so anyway. So we'll see what that, you know, what it all looks like and how it'll come together. But for my birthday, definitely we'll be using this, but we'll be using it for decor, period. I probably go ahead and put this somewhere in the house right now. I'm not quite sure, but I was like, these are so pretty. I just like the, the pattern of it. And it had another one. I got the two on the left, so I guess the one on the left and the one in the middle. They did have this one on the right. I saw that one um, in Home Goods as well, but I thought it would make it maybe just a little bit too much, so I decided against getting that one. But who's who's that one? Change my mind and go back. But when I go back, it probably won't be there. You all know how it is when it comes to these home decor stores. If you want something, you better get it like right then. So those are the taper candlestick holders that I purchased. As I said, I have two of those. And again, look everybody, that is the rug. Let me move this out the way. That's the rug. I'm really feeling the rug, guys. I am feeling the rug. Still haven't found anything to replace that with yet. I'm still on, on the hunt. Every time I go to Home Goods or Ross, TJ Maxx, Target, or whatever, I'm, I'm still looking, but I haven't found anything that I want to replace it with. But hopefully, I will. Um, I hope to find something in the next couple of weeks because I know that type of greenery is probably going to be going away since the summer is going away. And then, you know, they definitely have the fall. So, fall is here. They have so many some well so many like pumpkins and witches and just all kind of jack-o'-lanterns and stuff in these home decor stores so i'm afraid that i may have missed the window but i'll continue to look okay guys we have taken the item out of the box it's the next day actually because i just we a lot was going on yesterday, but we took it out the box. When I say we, I mean my husband, my nephew, took this out of the box yesterday. So let me show you exactly what it is. Uh, I am walking over here to the breakfast nook. I still have my tape on the floor because I still just want to use it as a guide. But look, 
look this is our bench seating that we have as i said before i got this from ballard design i can't remember the name of the bench but it's i think it's a nolan bench it's the only one that's curved and because as you can see it's not straight it's actually like a curve it just goes around and around and around and i took some of the plastic off so one that i can inspect it so you all can see it and it's like this really pretty fabric it's a performance fabric by the way but i still am gonna scotch guard it because it's a very light um, material but yeah this is what it looks like it took forever to get here i do want to show you all what it looks like without the plastic on and these things here um because i think once we take that off it'll probably go down an inch or two let me just kind of step back so you can see what it looks like and we think it'll probably it'll definitely sit three people without any issue maybe four depending on the size of those individuals if it's children yes adults i'm not quite so sure but definitely three people can sit on this bench maybe even more but when i first saw this bench ooh, months ago it was like maybe last fall i saw it in the store i knew that i wanted it and i and i actually thought about getting an oval table instead of like a round table because we did see it up against an oval table. And if I have some pictures of what it looks like when I saw it in the store at the round table, you're probably gonna see my baby sitting at the table. And then I also have some pictures of what it looks like up against an oval table. The oval table you'll see that the bench itself is the same bench, but it has like a different pattern or just a little bit, you know, too busy, but still very, you know, pretty pattern. But we decided to go with this. I can't remember, it's like a, it's called going coconut, a coconut going. I'm not quite sure, but really nice material. Very supple and I like the way that it has like this little detail here where it just kind of curves a little bit, like dips in and we really like it definitely gonna get use out of it the only thing is i knew it was gonna be tall the back of it so it kind of blocks a little bit um of the window there but i'm not mad at it i still think that we still get a lot of window because you, you can see the windows are pretty tall but if i wanted to i could you know move it on this side or i can move it on this side but for now i think i'll keep it where it is for my party it may be a little bit different i may have to adjust it a little bit but for now we're going to keep it here but yeah so that's the bench and i will show you all um what it looks like without the plastic so here is the bench without um, all of the plastic on it to get took all of it off because I wanted you all to see what it looks like. I'm trying to maneuver my way around. I added these pillows because I'm a little extra. I wanted to see what they look like. This is a pillow that came off the sofa, so it's definitely not gonna stay here. And it's an extra leather pillow that I had just laying around the house. But I like the way that it looks. I probably will put pillows here. They probably have to be smaller pillows. I think the larger one is maybe like a 22 by 22 and this may be like a 20 by 20. So maybe no larger than 20 by 20 or even 18 by 18 is probably gonna be like the, the best option for pillows. But I like the way that it looks. It looks really nice. It's comfortable. Of course, I've sat on it because I just enjoy sitting at this table and sitting um here with this bench and there is a lot of stuff on this table <laughs> um there's the plastic and everything that i took off i took off um like these little black things they were on the legs of the chair which probably added about two inches to them so the height of it did go down still is blocking some of the view from 
of the backyard rather, but I'm okay with it for now. I'll leave it as is. May switch it up later on, but for now I'll keep it here. And as I stated, I'm not sure in this video and in another video, still trying to find some chairs and I don't want to just purchase chairs just to be purchasing them. I want to actually like the chairs. Um, so we just have a hodgepodge of random chairs at this table right now. But I do like this bench. I like the way it looks. Let me go back a little bit further. It's not aligned up very well, but you all get the picture. You all see exactly where I'm going going for. But I do like that it is kind of has it has like this curve to it. It's not a straight bench because a straight bench probably wouldn't look too well with this um, round table. So I do like the way it looks. Probably will be adding some pillows. But anyway, thank you all so much for staying with me throughout this video. I showed you some staple pieces, some things that are gonna ground the space. Um, they have a lot to show, but these were pretty big pieces. And you know, the rug, which I love, and then this bench, which I love. And I also showed you, you know, some miscellaneous party items. So I'll have more content when it comes to the party um, in the coming weeks because the party is within, what, three weeks, four weeks? I don't know, maybe about three weeks, three and a half weeks or so. So things are definitely moving along in that arena. But if you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can follow along on this journey. For those who are subscribed, thank you again so much for rocking with me and continue to tune in every week um, and see what's going on at the major manor. So I will see you all at the next video. And until then, be safe. Bye guys.